What's up, YouTubers? Brandon here with Beard Guy EDC, coming back at you guys again with another video today. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We're gonna be taking a quick look at the Civivi Backlash. So I got this guy as a gift. Uh, I think it was Christmas. Yeah, I got this for a Christmas gift from my little brother. It's a great knife. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't got it on the channel yet, but I just keep getting other knives and doing unboxings and reviews and stuff like that. And of course, Gary sent me out those four knives reviews. So we're gonna get into this CVV backlash for you guys today. This one is the model with the copper handle scales and the Damascus blade. Uh, it's a great little knife. I think it's beautiful. It's a nice uh, gentleman's carry. This isn't a knife that you're gonna use for any, any very hard, heavy duty tasks. Uh, I'm not gonna ask a whole lot out of this knife. Like I said, it's more of a collector's piece, a bit of a gentleman's carry, something I'm gonna carry on the weekends, uh, I'm going out for dinner or something like that. You guys are gonna get a quick look of this knife after a few months of use. Like I said, I, I don't use it every day. I got it for Christmas. I use it a couple times a week maybe, but uh, like I said, it's a great little knife. Uh, more of a showpiece than anything for me. Not that it's expensive or anything, but it's just a really nice looking knife. It's a nice gentleman's folder. So before I start rambling on too much, we can jump on into this video and I'll show you guys what this uh, CVV backlash looks like and let you know what I think of it. Hope you guys enjoy the content and have a great day. All right, you guys. Today, we're gonna to be jumping in here to look at the CVV Backlash. So this guy was a gift. Uh, I've had it for a little while. I just haven't gotten around to putting it on the channel yet. Uh, it was a gift for my little brother. It's the Backlash in copper handle scales with uh, the Damascus steel blade. I haven't used this Backlash for anything taxing. I haven't used it for any, any hard tasks, hard cutting tasks or anything, but uh, so far, for what I have used it for, the edge has held up really nicely. Uh, the steel in this is supposed to be, I believe, a 58 to 60 HRC. So it's, it's a pretty hard steel. I've used it for pretty much light duty tasks and more so, uh, I guess you'd call it a bit of a fancy carry. So before I just ramble on and leave the knife here, you guys want to see it. So this is the case that it comes in. This isn't an unboxing video, but I do keep this one in the case just because it is such a nice little case there. Oh, share your experience to let the world know. That's exactly what I'm doing. So it comes with this nice little case that has a, uh, I guess like a microfiber lined interior. It's pretty nice there. It also comes with a microfiber Civivi branded cleaning cloth, which is great. So I can use that now to just kind of clean the blade up before I put it on camera. There is a little bit of patina on the copper on this guy right now. So it's a little bit dark. It's not quite like it was new, but it's not bad. You can kind of see it there around the pocket clip. You can see where the, the, light, the lighter copper is there. But honestly, in my opinion, I think the patina is everything. I love patina on a copper, brass, whatever it may be. Even micarta, I know people say micarta doesn't patina. It picks up oils and it looks cool. I don't care what anybody says, it looks nice. So this backlash here has a 3.5 inch Damascus blade. I believe a 3.125 inch cutting edge. Very nice. Uh, the blade is about one inch thick. Uh, thick, I mean width ways, this, this way. It's about uh, 0.12 inches thick in width on the spine here. You got a lot of jimping here on the spine. Kind of a bit of a modified harpoon point almost, but it's back really far. But uh, the jimping is really nice. It feels nice on the thumb. You can definitely choke up on the, on the choil there with the jimping on the thumb. It, it feels really nice in the hand as well. You can hold it by the handle and you can definitely get a nice four finger grip on that knife, no trouble. Very easy to get a four finger grip. Nice four and a half inch handle on this one to complement that three and a half inch blade. Folds up really nice. Looks beautiful closed. Nice little gentleman's folder in my opinion. Something I'd carry to a wedding or something of the sorts. Nice black pocket clip, deep carry. I love a deep carry pocket clip. For me, it just uh, hides the knife a bit. Not so prominent sticking out of your pocket. The uh, Civivi branded pivot here looks pretty cool. You can see that little C, the uh, logo for Civivi there. And on this side, you just have your T8 for disassembly, obviously, and your T6 is here. It's a great little knife in my opinion. The sound that it makes when it opens is just to die for. Even closing, it makes a really nice noise. Just listen to that. Click. Very nice. I'm gonna take this off, ca off camera just for one second, just so you guys can hear it next to the mic a little bit clearer. But just listen to that open and closing action, not the copper. 
I love that noise. Makes a really nice sound, which I know isn't everything in a pocket knife, but for me, it's all the de little details that go together to make a knife what it is. This knife has a beautiful profile. It has a great sharp edge. It's a hard Damascus steel that looks beautiful with that pattern. It kind of looks like a raindrop Damascus, but it's a very nice pattern in there. Drop shut, obviously. It's on ceramic ball bearings. The action is just never misfires. Very, very nice action on this guy. Love this little knife. It's got some great texture here on the copper. So you can see those little, you can see where it's milled out there to have some texture. It, uh, it definitely feels nice. It certainly feels nice when you choke up on it the, to have that bit of texture there just to give you something to hold on to so the knife doesn't come uh, sliding out of your hand there. And again, with the jimping, it's just, again, just something to really clamp down on and give you a good solid feel that the knife is really in your hand and it's not going anywhere. So as for my first impressions and bit of a review on the CVV Backlash, all I can say about this knife is that as of yet, I love it. Uh, it's not an everyday carry for me, but I definitely carry it at least once a week. I got to get it out of the, out of the, uh, the case once in a while just to uh, stretch your legs a bit, use it a bit. Let's drop it off every now and again when I do use it. I haven't had to sharpen this guy yet, as I said. I don't use it for any, any hard tasks, but uh, I'm thinking soon after the next couple times I use it, I might give it a little touch up on the 3000 grit stone just to, just to line everything back up the way it was. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Civivi Backlash in Damascus with the copper scales. Beautiful little knife. Absolutely love that guy. And as per usual, I'm going to show you guys what I'm carrying today as I'm filming this. So, I have my Spyderco Tenacious with the FRN scales, all black, black coated blade, 8CR13 MOV. Nice action there. Great little carry. I have my Lumen Top Tool AA 2.0. I have them locked out. Great flashlight. Lock it out again. I got my pocket pen with my modified pocket clip. Awesome little pen. Takes up little to no space in your pocket. Light. And last but not least, I'm going to be carrying my Gerber Shard today. Just uh, you never know when you got to pry something open. You don't want to use your knife for that. You certainly don't want to break off a tip. It's also a great little bottle opener and a, uh, I don't know how useful that Phillips head is. I've never actually used it, but I guess in a jam, you could use it if you were stuck and needed to get a screw out. So that's my Gerber shard. So that's my carry for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I definitely enjoyed filming it as I do all my videos. Love getting this content out for you guys, the viewers. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notifications button so you can see more content like this. Uh, down in the description, there's going to be some links so you can check out my playlists. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and take her easy.